so cool. Okay, so quick video on how to change the bearing, um, the output bearing um, on the rear. It's pretty straightforward, the rear is the easiest side. All you'll need is a 30mm socket to remove that. Um, and then I've just knocked up this tool um, for the slide hammer so you can pull the shaft out. So there's a normal slide hammer um, and that thread goes in there and that's an old nut for this side and that just threads on there. So you can pull the shaft out. Um, it's pretty straightforward, just whip that off. Pull your shaft, uh, your flange off, sorry. You've got a washer there and there'll be a, an old fibre washer there. If it's leaking a lot, check here, the seal land. You can see the mark there. It's not really a groove. It doesn't feel like a groove. It just wants cleaning up. But if you have got a groove, then the seal's not going to be sealing. Um, so you'll need a new flange. From there, we want to... It's going to be a bit awkward, but you want to pull this, this seal out. Um, so... I do it with a pry bar. Um, if you if you hammer it in like that, you can fold the seal seal up a bit, which will make it easier to pull out, to flick out. So, a bit of a nightmare doing it like this. Yeah. Big screwdriver. Yeah, if you fold up the seal, it's just a bit easier. And then in here, you, you've got a circlip, um, an internal circlip. So I'm going to want a decent set of circlip wires. Ratchet ones are better because it saves you pinging off in your face. <clears throat> so once you've got that circlip out, um, if you pull the shaft, the bearing will come with the shaft. Um, so I'm just going to fire that on there. Let's see how well this works because I just made this adapter up. Pull the whole thing off the bench. Sweet. So I've got the whole shaft um, with the bearing and everything. So if I just wind that off there. So you've got the worm gear uh, for your speedo drive. If you can flick that out, do, because it saves you damage in it, putting it in uh, when you put this back in. And then this is a sleeve which will come loose in a second. Um, basically to put it together, back together is just straight in, make sure you line up these splines uh, when it goes in, so you just need to spin it a bit. Uh, to get the bearing off there, I'd probably just put it in the vice like that with a soft hammer, tap it down. Um, you might even be able to do it in your hand. Probably not. Can't get it hurts. <laughs> That's the sleeve. All bearing scrap. I need that. The new bearing, when you put the new bearing on, um, use a socket or a sleeve or something on the inner part of the race. Um, put it back on, on here. Don't put it on the outside. Don't hit the rollers. Um, don't make direct contact with the hammer and the bearing, um, as other people will tell you to do. Um, and then, yeah, to put it back in, it's, it's the reverse. So build it up shaft back in with the bearing, make sure it seats all the way down so you can get the circlip back in. Um, the seal, 
doing it this way it's a bit awkward because obviously you've got the shaft in the way but when you're putting the seal back in make sure it, it runs all the way down and seeps on the circlip so don't have it flush with the end or anything like that um, you might have uh, a mud shield this one doesn't you might have a mud shield on here and that just flicks off um, and then yeah torque it there look back on and everything is pretty straightforward